against the proposed toll have made their way to the governor's office. Governor Ivey is now calling for a special public meeting to get updates on the project and discuss viable options to fund it. NBC 15's Muriel Bailey joins us now. And Muriel, some say this is a chance for those against the toll to really have their voices heard. A Greg State Auditor Jim Ziegler has been leading the charge against the toll on social media, and he says this meeting is a step in the right direction. Alabama Governor Kay Ivey has called a special public meeting with the Alabama Toll Road, Bridge and Tunnel Authority. This comes after LDOT announced the toll would be $6 one way across the bay on the proposed I-10 Mobile River and Bayway Bridge. In the letter, Ivey says there has been significant feedback regarding the proposal and she's sensitive to concerns of what a toll would do to working families, the lower and middle class, students and the elderly. We got to have a bridge. There's no doubt that Mobile needs uh, another means to get in and out to the east. The board consists of nine members. One is Senator Greg Albritton, who represents a part of Baldwin County. He says he has a lot of questions and he's looking forward to learning more. You've got the amount of the toll, you've got the cost of the project, and you've got the engineering plan. Uh, how much do we need to change? How much can we change? This is a step in the right direction. State Auditor Jim Ziegler has led the charge against the toll on social media. We have asked the governor to hit the pause button on the toll plan to just halt it and consider other sources of funding. He says he plans to present two options at the meeting. One, a plan to pay for a scale down bridge without a toll. And two, a plan to fix the Wallace Tunnels and Bayway without a new bridge. Ziegler says this is the next step in deciding the fate of the toll. Families cannot afford a toll of $1,080 a year per car. That meeting is September 17th in Montgomery in the state capitol's auditorium, and it is open to the public. Reporting live in Mobile, Muriel Bailey, NBC 15 News.